Mr. Summers, I am going to turn to you and address you and your decision whether to testify or not. The first question, actually, I do have to swear you in if you'll raise your right hand because I have to ask you a number of questions. Thank you. Do you swear or affirm any testimony that you may give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, the first question that I want to ask you is, did you have the opportunity to consult with standby counsel regarding your decision to testify or not testify in your case? Yes, Your Honor. Do you understand that you have the absolute right to remain silent and not testify in your case. The other side of that is, if you wish, you can come down and testify as a witness, just as all the other witnesses have testified. <laughs> I think I mentioned the procedure to you yesterday. I will follow the same procedure as all the other witnesses. Um, you'll come in front of me, I'll swear you in, you'll take the stand. The only difference is, since you're representing yourself, <laughs> you won't have someone else to ask you questions. So your testimony will be presented in a narrative form where you can just talk to the jury. If at any time you are presenting testimony that the state believes is objectionable, they would then object, give me the legal basis for the objection, and I would make a decision as to whether you can continue saying that. The issues that may come up are relevance, hearsay, um, uh, things like that. So um, much like the things that have come up with other witnesses. At the end of the day, it is your decision and your decision alone whether you are going to testify or not. My next question to you, sir, is have you had sufficient time to consider this very important decision? Yes, I have. Have you made a decision? Yes, Your Honor. What is your decision? I will not testify. In this Has anyone forced you or threatened you in any way to reach this decision not to testify? No, Your Honor. Are you under the influence today of any alcohol, drugs, medication, prescription, or over-the-counter that may in any way affect your ability to freely and voluntarily make this decision? No, Your Honor. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let me just see. State, did you have anything else that you want me to ask him regarding his decision? No, Your Honor. All right, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Summers. So, that means that you need to rest your case. Again, I'm not, I can't help you and I'm not helping you, but, but